Hi everyone, my name is Nancy Loom and I'm the Loom Detective. And today we're going to solve the mystery on how to make these adorable snake pencil huggers. I came up with this design myself and I hope you guys like it. And so this, I'm going to teach you how to make these today. And next time I do a pencil hugger, it's going to be on this butterfly charm. Butterfly pencil hugger, sorry. It's not a charm. But you could make it into a charm, just not put the legs on it. So, butterfly charm or pencil hugger. And so it's just like a sneak peek. Cause I do pencil hugger tutorials every other week. And they are my original designs. I'm trying to have my channel to be just designs made by me. So it's not just a bunch of designs other people made. So you get something new here. So, enough talking. Now let's get on to making these snake pencil huggers. So to make this pencil hugger, you will need your rainbow loom, your rainbow loom hook or a crochet hook. You'll need rubber bands. You'll need 26 bands of the body. You will need 12 bands for the face. You will need two bands for the bands that attach to the hook. I'm going to use clear this time. I want to try that out. We need two bands for the eyes and one pink band for the mouth. I'm just going to use this same pink. So grab your supplies and let's get started. So we're going to start by making the body of the snake. So you're going to take one band that's going to be the attached, attached to the hook. I'm going to use a clear for that one. And then just get the bands for the rest of it there. So you're going to take the band that you want for the kind of like the edge of the tail. And so I'm going to use white again. Put it on your hook, wrap it around four times. So you have four loops. Okay? Four loops. Then push that down. Take the band you're going to use for the band that connects to the hook. Put it on there and wrap it around one time, so, well I guess wrap it around twice, there's two loops on here. <laughs> and then you're going to take the next color, I'm going to use neon pink, these are all Rainbow Loom brand bands by the way, I only get the Rainbow Loom brand bands, they're just the better band, and they're not that expensive, just go to rainbowloom.com and you can order them online right there. So now back to the pencil hugger. So you take the band, stretch it out, Twist it, put it back on your fingers, and put it on your hook. You're going to push both of those bands onto that pink band. And then you're going to put it back onto your hook. So it should look like this. Looks a little funny, but it, this is the best way. It works good. So take your next band, do the same thing, stretch it, twist it, Put it back onto itself, put it on the edge of the hook, and pull it through the other band. And you just keep doing that. You just take band, twist it, put it on your hook, and pull it through till you have 26 bands, including this end band. Don't include this band that's going to be attached to the hook, but you have 26 other than that. So, I'm done with my tail, I guess you could call it, for the snake. I actually did 27 bands just to complete the pattern, because I did two pinks, a white, two pinks, a white. So I just did that to complete the pattern. But normally, this one was 26. So 26, 27, 28, just doesn't really matter. And this one, I did a different pattern. So just pick a pattern and make it your own. So, now we're going to make the head. So you're going to take your loom, be in the standard configuration, and you're going to flip it like we're going to loop, but we're actually going to start our head up here on the top. So take a band, the color for your head, stretch it out, twist it, put it back on itself, put it from the middle pin to the pin on the left. And grab another band, stretch it, twist it, Put it on yourself, put it on itself, <laughs> and then put it from the middle pin to the pin on the right. And now you're going to do the same thing. 
These are actually called double capped bands, but this is just the easiest way to do them if you're going to be putting a lot. So you're going down two on this side, then you're going to go in towards the middle. Then you're going to keep doubling those bands, go two down on this side, and then go into the middle. So, and then we're going to, it should look like that, almost like a diamond, and now we're going to fill in the middle. So again, grab the band, stretch it, put it back on itself, and put it from the top to the second peg, and then you go down from the second to the third peg, and from the third to the fourth peg and now we're going to do our eyes so take your two bands for your eyes and you'll also need one band the color of the head so you're going to take your hook just push down the tail or the body of the snake take one of those blacks you're going to put it on there and then you're going to wrap it around four times so you will have four loops four loops and then push that down take your other black band and do the same thing so you wrap it around four times you get four loops so you have two black bands wrapped around four times each then take the band same color as your head as the snake's head <laughs> and then you're going to take it stretch it twist it put it back on itself so you have a double cap band and you're going to put these eyes onto that double capped band. So just put them onto that band. Take them one at a time. So you have this. Now you're going to put it on the second pin down on the left, all the way to the second pin down onto the right. And now you're just going to separate the eyes. Put them on separate sides of the middle thing. You're going to take your hook, take the top part of the double cap band and push it up there so it kind of makes a triangle and now we are going to take this tail I guess it would be the body of the snake but it just kind of reminds me of a tail so oh before we do that we're going to add on the second band that's going to hold the head up there so again I'm using clear so just put a triangle on these three pegs and that will end up being your band that holds it on. And now you're going to take the snake's body, you're going to put it on this last pin. It's the fourth pin down in the middle. So you're going to put those bands onto there and then just pull it around so you can actually work with it. Now we're going to loop. So you're going to take your hook, reach behind those bands for the body, grab the top double capped band. Whoops, I grabbed three of them. So just reach back and grab the top two. It's a little difficult, but if you can't get the right one, just like move it around again. And so sometimes it's easier to see if you look on the side and you pull it back. Grab. You can always just do it like w one part at a time. Sure hope I got this right this time. Yes, I did. Okay. So then you move it up towards the middle where it goes. Then you're going to pull back again. Grab the next double capped band move it back to where it goes. You can kind of tell where it goes just when you loop them up. And then you're going to do the same thing for the last one. And you move it over to the right. And now you're just going to loop up the middle all the way up to the top. Then you're going to loop the sides. you got to pull back all those bands. Grab the only the double capped band that's at the bottom. This one's a little trickier, but you still just do the same thing. And then at the end, you move it in towards the middle. And do the same thing on this side. Just reach behind there. 
pull up these bands, which behind the eye bands. Oops. Grab those bands, pull them up. Grab those bands and pull them in towards the middle. And now is where we're going to make the tongue for our snake. And so, if you don't like it like this with like the little loops, you can just take a regular band, pull it through, and then just cut it at the end. But I kind of like how these are, so I'll show you how to do it this way. So take your band, whatever you're going to use for that. You're going to double cap it. Then you're going to reach in this last peg. Pull back the bands and stretch your hook out. Grab that doubled band, pull it through, and now you're going to move it around the peg, stick it back on, and now you're going to take these two ends that are on the left, you're going to pull them through the two ends that are on the right, and just pull up. And so you just move them and you just you just like tweak them the way that you'd like them and eventually that will be your tongue so you just gotta work with them a little bit and then just take your thing off the loom so I do recommend using a metal hook or a crochet hook or something to take these off because they are double capped bands and they're kind of hard to get off the loom sometimes but if you can do it with your fingers, go for it. Just be careful not to snap any bands. And so there we go. So this is how it looked like when I got it off the loom. So again, I'm just going to have to just tweak the tongue a little bit. And then you just move the face, you stretch it out. That's better. And now we're going to, I'm going to show you how to put it onto your hook. So, take your hook, you're going to insert, you see this, this band that's hanging out? You're going to put your hook in that, on one of the sides, and then go through this little curly that it's making, and put it, put your hook through the double capped bands that are there, and you're going to pull it up, pull it all the way up on your loom. So, when you first do it, it kind of looks funny, but then you just move it around, and you kind of, like, fashion it the way that you'd like it, wherever you want it to be. These pinks probably don't look very good together, but that's okay. <laughs> and so, again, you just stretch out the tongue. Whoops. I guess you could always do that if you don't like how it looks. You could just break aside the band. Actually, don't do that, because then it pops that. So, if you want your tongue to be sticking out like that, I would say just to put a regular band through it, and then pull it out like you do a regular one, and make a slip knot, and then cut it at the end. And so, I will have to fix that. But, these bands are just a little stretchier than normal, so they're a little harder to work with. But, there you have your adorable little snake pencil hugger. Hope you guys enjoy, and thanks for watching. Bye!